Cheaters, it's Inspiring Vanessa here and welcome back to another delightful interview for all of you. I hope you're all staying safe and enjoying these um, interviews that I've been doing quite a lot during lockdown and this period of time. Um, I'm very, very excited for today's guest. Um, you guys guessed it, it's another one of the um, cast members from the show Mallory Towers also one of my favourite shows which you can watch on BBC iPlayer just in case anybody else um, hasn't watched the show yet I definitely recommend it so today's um, guest on today's interview is Beth and she plays Jean on Mallory Towers so in this interview I'm going to be talking about what it was like being on set and how she has I don't know like her opinion on what it's been like um, going into the industry so I'm going to bring her on to this interview and then we can get straight into it and also we will be doing um, a mini Q&A at the end of this live stream or at the end of this interview so leave some questions and um, I'll select them and then Beth can answer them otherwise we're just going to get started. Hi! Hiya! Hello! How are you? I'm good, thank you. You? I'm really good. I mean, thank you for being my guest today on today's interview. What have you been up to recently? No problem. Um, well, today I went out for um, a distance walk with my friend um, and reading a lot lately um, and singing a little bit. Now I actually have the time because <laughs> I don't have any schoolwork to do. So, yeah, just catching up on extracurricular activities I think that I haven't been able haven't had time to do when school has been going on yeah what book are you reading you can give um, us some good recommendations <laughs> well I don't really know whether it's the most suitable to be honest but I'm reading it by Stephen King at the moment oh. um, but yeah it's really good if you're kind of if you are over like probably the age of about 14 15 I'd recommend it <laughs> So, um, moving on to the first question for this interview is when did you begin your acting journey and how did you realise this was something you wanted to pursue? Well, I started stage school probably at the age of about three, I think, so really young. Um, and I just loved performing. Um, I kind of already enjoyed singing and then acting just kind of came along and I just absolutely loved being on stage and I guess being in the spotlight and... Um, yeah, and so I kind of did that for years, and then when I was, I think I was about 12, when I kind of realised that I, instead of kind of going down the musical theatre route, which I, you know, I tried and enjoyed up to that point, um, I decided that I wanted to kind of get into acting, and so I got an agent, and then it just kind of, it happened from there, I guess, and I just, I've just loved doing it, and I've just loved being, performing, I've always loved performing. I mean, that's amazing to hear. And being three, year, three years old and already just kind of wanting to be that limelight definitely <laughs> can um, confirm that you wanted to be like, you can sound like a drama queen. We always like using that term here on the interviews, but um, yeah. it's always really good to hear how everybody has started, obviously following their dreams and helping other people to do the same. So that's really great yeah. to hear. Um, moving on to the second question. Um, as you said, you kind of like singing um, and also acting, obviously. So what is your favourite part about, you can say, performing arts or just about acting and being on stage or just performing as a different character? Um, I think you've got that last bit right. I think it's the being a different person and being and playing a character. I love kind of morphing into somebody else and living somebody else's life for a while. Um, I've, I've loved kind of living in Mallory Towers, living back in the 1940s. That's been so fun because obviously I don't at the moment. So it's been really interesting to kind of see what, you know, what they were and the sets as well and kind of what the interiors of different places and schools looked like at the time. And that's been really interesting. And the way that they speak is obviously slightly different. And so, yeah, just in general, being able to play somebody else, but also just meeting the people that you meet along the way. You know, I've met so many amazing, talented people, not just the cast members, um, but also the directors, Bex and Bruce of Mallory Towers and um, the crew as well. And everybody that I met and everybody that I saw, 
is just was just so kind and so welcoming and encouraging and patient and everybody you meet along the way I think it's definitely played a huge part in why I love doing what I've done yeah I mean always going to play different character is always really interesting especially when you see like a really popular actor play a bunch of different roles and you don't see them as the same character that you previously watched if that makes yeah. sense. So the first yeah. time I see like Leonardo DiCaprio in a TV show <laughs> series or like in a movie and I see him play another character, I don't think it's the same person. But I just yeah. see them as two completely different people even though it's being played by the same actor. So I think that's like the the really like special part um, about acting and how you literally morph into different people and different personalities yeah. as well. But that can be actually quite difficult sometimes, if we're being honest, to yeah. become different people, especially if it's like the opposite of who you are as an individual. So um, how did you get into character for Jean? What were some of the steps that you um, took to get into her character? Um, I think being in the costumes themselves, especially with it being a period, um, a period drama, I think getting into the costumes and the school uniform and pajamas and the swimming costume a few times, that really kind of, you know, I felt like I was in a time machine going right back into the 1940s. And especially then with the set as well, just kind of walking onto the set, especially in Canada with the interior shots, you know, whenever I was in the dorm room or the common room or anywhere else, it really felt like I was back then. And so that really helped in kind of getting into the character and the kind of um, disassociation from me and my life in, the modern day you know I think it really helped um, and also I think just reading reading the lines and kind of noticing the interactions I guess between Jean and the other characters and yeah just trying to kind of empathize with her and how she would feel and how the other characters would feel in the in the show and in the scenes and so yeah they all kind of culminated together. I mean I've always loved to go in a time machine like I think anyone would like to go in the future or in the past so having yeah. the opportunity to kind of be on set and it feels like you literally are in the 1940s yeah. um, sounds um, incredible as well um, yeah. and that's really interesting to kind of hear how you got into character as well and obviously being in the costume does level it up and make you really get into character make you feel like you are that character as well. Um, the next question I have for you is what has been the most difficult part a um, difficult thing about branching into the acting industry? I think it's probably the fear of being disliked or um, the fear of kind of doing my job wrong and doing it not well um, and it kind of being out there for the world to see um, if that makes sense. So yeah I think probably that um, but the response, especially to Mallory Towers, has just been overwhelmingly positive. And so that has really kind of put me at ease. And actually, it, was, it wasn't really something that I thought about until it kind of neared the release of the show. Um, but then once it was released and once people kind of enjoyed it and said that they enjoyed it and, you know, the, on social media as well, on Instagram, um, so many people saying that they loved it um, is you know it really kind of puts you at ease and um, yeah I did it I did it well you know I did yeah it, it gives it just kind of puts your hard work oh. at justice basically it's yeah. like okay I anybody can say that I did a good job at that that could just be being humble but actually seeing people's feedback and reactions to it and saying that it's the same thing that you kind of thought you did I think is really great as well yeah and like all of the people who have always been watching the show can definitely agree that we all enjoyed it and watching all the different characters and how they reacted um, in different situations and how like yeah. the friendship grew um, yeah. with all you girls obviously on set and off set as well. So moving on to the next question, what has been your favourite memory from being on set of Mallory Towers? Whether if it was really hard to film, like an embarrassing scene to film or just an overall fun scene to film? Um, I think every day brought a memory, brought a special moment and a special memory that kind of really consolidated why I was there and why I was doing this and it just proved how much I loved being there and loved being on set and loved 
working with these people and doing these scenes um and there wasn't a bad scene like there is no scene that i filmed that i went oh i didn't really like that one i loved all of them and i thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed myself throughout all of the scenes that i filmed um i i love filming the one the midnight feast scene um and eating those prawns with um <laughs> although they weren't the tastiest it was very eventful and it was quite funny um seeing their reactions and doing mine as well and that was really fun but also the pillow fight scene was so much fun um in episode eight so yeah i think those are two of my favorite scenes and they were like just incredibly fun to film I mean, any chance to eat food is like a bonus for anyone. I feel like, mm -hmm. like if you get to, if you surround me around sweets, like I just, I have to help myself. Like, <laughs> it's just, like I insist to um, have a little snack here and there. But I imagine eating the prawns and sherbet would have been a bit of a, bit, a bit yeah. of a fright to be honest. Like, oh, um, okay, we're just gonna try this out and still try and still try and stay in character while we're tasting yeah. so literally like reacting to this um random food or snack or combination um basically mm. so that was really funny and great memory to um talk about and look back on as well yeah um another just question that kind of popped up to my head as you were saying before um kind of getting into character for Jean what would you say are the most similarities you have with Jean and the differences that you have between both of your personalities um, I think that Jean is quite wise um, for her for her age, and I feel like I've kind of been that. I I feel like I'm probably quite mature, um, and so I, she has that. Um, she's also um, quite smart as well, and I think I I mean I'd hope that I am, but she's also I think she's also very loyal, and she kind of knows herself. And so I, I'd hope anyway that that was similar to myself. But she, I think in the ways that we're different, I think we handle situations quite differently in the sense that she's very logical in the way that she thinks, I think. And she kind of looks at what's there and goes, okay, and draws conclusions from that. But I think in situations, I'm probably a bit more emotional than she is in those kind of things. And so, yeah, that's, that's how I'm different to her. <laughs> I mean, I think always being observant is really important and you can you can say that Jean is very observant and just kind yeah. of seeing everyone else's reaction and then just going from that as well. Um, moving on to the next question is, um, obviously you do portray Jean or Mallory Towers, but if you could play any other character on the show, which character would you have loved to play and why? Um, I think I probably would have enjoyed playing Irene just because I I play the piano and I and Natasha who plays Irene um, got to play the piano um, a little bit on the on the show and yeah I I would have enjoyed doing that and she's quite a musical person and so I'm quite similar to Irene in that sense and I would have enjoyed exploring that and doing that on set as well although I did get to play the piano, Jeannie did get to play the piano a little bit in one scene, I think it was in episode 13, but yeah, I think I would have enjoyed playing Irene, but Tash does an incredible job and she's, she is Irene, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't see her as any other, as anyone else playing it, playing like no. her character, yeah. No. <laughs> I mean, I can't play the piano, I don't think, well, yeah, I don't, I don't really play any instruments. So just kind of getting to see someone play an instrument is already like amazing for me to witness anyways. But hopefully we can see um, Jean being a, showing a bit more of her musical side if she does have that. Um, on to the next question is, what message um, do you want to share through doing acting? Because I know that everybody who does something or just has a career in a different sector um, always has a message behind what they want to do or a message they want to share through doing what they love. So what is your message through acting? I'd hope to show people that anybody can do what they do, what they love to do, you know, especially with some, somebody with a visible difference. I think I'd really hope to inspire people 
to say, you know, look, if I can do it, then you can do it too. And I think especially with the industry, hoping to become more diverse and more accepting people who look a bit different, I think I'd hoped to inspire people and show people that actually, you know, we can do this and you can go into acting if you look slightly different or if you're slightly different to the norm in any other way, you know, um, just to prove that it can happen and that you can get work and that you can be appreciated by the industry and do what you love, you know, whether that's acting or not. Yeah. I mean, that's such an inspiration message and beautiful message to share. So thank you for um, just saying that now. And it's just like, we need to get to the point in any industry, to be honest, that they're going to pick you just because you're a good actor or actress, not because yeah. they need someone with a visual difference or because they need a person of colour, for example. They just need yeah. to pick you because you are good at what you do, basically. So yeah. if we do get to that yeah. point in the industry, then thank goodness. But I think we're... Like, I think we get- sooner or later, we're going to start getting there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the yeah. final question, before we go into some questions from the viewers, is what are your three top tips on how to begin in the acting industry? Like, where do people start if they want to become an actress or be on a TV show? I think a really good idea is to get an agent um, because they can kind of get you into the room and get you auditions and things and get your opportunities and then to you know hopefully get those opportunities um and to be able to get the parts um probably practicing you know whether that's in a drama club at school or an acting club outside of school or acting classes or anything or just at home you know practicing um scenes from your favorite films or tv shows you know just the more you do it the better you'll get you know the saying is true and so the more that you do it, the, the better you'll be and hopefully that will translate into the amount of work that you get and the amount of auditions that somebody gets. Um, and I think the third thing would probably make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. Um, you know, you're not doing it for the fame, you're not doing it for anything else other than the fact that you love it and you love acting and you love being able to play other people um, and just make sure that you're doing it for the right reasons because it can be tough, you know, and if you if you're unsuccessful and you, you know, do auditions and you're not getting you're not getting anywhere with the with them, it can be really tough. It can be really demoralizing. And so having you need to have the passion and you need to have yeah, you know, the passion to get you through that and to pull you through those setbacks. And so yeah, just make sure you're doing it for the right reasons, really. Yeah. I mean, couldn't have said it any better. So just going <laughs> to give you, give, you, give you a little applause on that one. But yeah, so the first thing that you were saying is get an agent, really important. Make sure it's legitimate as well. Make sure you're not yes. signing up for a scam or something like yes. that because you're going to be wanting to do self-tapes or auditions and it's not going to get you where to go, basically. Um, and then also you said practice is really important. Practice makes progress. No one's perfect, yes. but it does make progress. And yes. then obviously you said be in it for the right reasons, which I think is so, so powerful because everyone's like, oh, if I want to be famous, the best way to do that is to be an actor or an actress. And it's like, it's so hard to get into any industry. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter how old you are or, or how good you are. It's going to be hard either way. And I feel like, as you were saying, it is really demoralizing because people expect to go into one audition, you get that, and then you expect to get all these other jobs afterwards. And it's like, it's not exactly like that it's just about yeah. getting picks or just being there at the right time basically so just make sure you're in it for the right reasons and to know that you're in it for the right reasons and that you're passionate about it is if you do get a setback or you do go for an obstacle and you still want to carry on going that should prove to you and yourself and everyone around you um that you really want to do this if you're gonna carry on and not give up um until you do um get kind of or your dream does come true basically so yeah now we're going to go into some questions from the viewers so the yeah. first question is from mallory stars x and they said if you could act in anything what would it be um i'd love to and this you know it's a dream um but i'd love to be in a netflix tv show that would be so cool um, you know, something like Stranger Things, Stranger Things or something like that. 
Um, I'd also love to be in a crime drama because I watch a lot of those. <laughs> so to be in kind of like a crime, police, detective, murder mystery type thing would just be so cool. Yeah. I mean, like, I'm quite a paranoid person, to be honest. So if I watch anything scary, I'm like, the next week, I'm just like, kind of jumpy <laughs> about everything. everything. But I feel like being on set and knowing what's going to happen and then letting like, all the people around you not know what's going to happen, that would be super fun. Be like, well, I know what's already happening, but I'm just going to make you guys wait until you see it. <laughs> so that would be fun to kind of let people know. Um, and what's actually going to happen the next yeah. question is from underscore mallory underscore towers underscore fan 13 and they said what was it like filming at night um personally i don't think i filmed many or any film uh, any scenes at night to be honest um but i think it was i think we we did have kind of late later later calls um it was quite it was quite fun it was quite exciting um but I think it was also quite tiring um, having, you know, often have to wake up quite early in the morning. It just, I mean, the, the time that you wake up varies every day. Um, but yeah, sometimes you have to wake up quite early and then be doing it till a little bit later. And so it can be quite tiring, but it's just, it's mainly just quite exciting to be honest. Yeah. What was the earliest time you woke up in the morning to film a scene? I think the earliest was like half past five, which oh, isn't wow. <laughs> early, but it's, it's a lot earlier than I'd, than I'd usually want to wake up. So yeah, I think that was the earliest. <laughs> uh, I'm not a morning person, so make, waking up at any time, that, that's, <laughs> especially now in quarantine, waking up any time like before like seven is just, just like, just don't talk yeah. to me, basically. Like, it's I mean. just not, <laughs> it's not going to work <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah. Um, the next question is from underscore Hannah underscore blue underscore bird. And Hannah said, what did you, or who did you originally um, audition for? Jean. Um, I only auditioned for Jean. And luckily I got Jean. And so, yeah, it was quite, it was quite a short process for me. I know some of the others and yeah some of the other cast members um auditioned for more than one character but personally i didn't i just auditioned for jean yeah the next question is from stxr dot underscore demi and they said have you got tiktok i think they had a, a typo but have you got tiktok yeah. <laughs> um yes but i don't post anything on it um, I just have it to look at other people's and to support the other girls who have TikTok. Um, and also I got it to make the Quarant Towers videos. So that was kind of the main reason that I got it. But yeah, sorry, I'm not <laughs> making my account public anytime soon. But yeah, I, I do have it, but not publicly. Not publicly, not like doing it, like posting content on there. No, basically. no. <laughs> The next question is from Edie or yeah, Edie um Sabs and he said what was the building you filmed in? So do you know the name or like, the location I think is what they're trying to ask. Um is I'm assuming you mean you mean the school, um the actual school. Yeah, we filmed in um Heartland Abbey in Devon for the school scenes. And so it was really beautiful there and it's so grand and yeah, there's so much history behind it as well. And so it's amazing to film there. Yeah. The next question is um, from NJ Rhymes and they said, how is it like seeing yourself on TV? <laughs> very strange um especially because it's my first job and so i'd never done anything before and so i'd never really seen i'd never seen myself on television before so yeah it was very strange um to know that i was on a cbbc series as well and that was gonna be seen by the country by the country's children and so that was that was really strange but you kind of get used to it after a little while um but yeah 
And also, how did your friends and family react when they first found out that you got the role and actually seeing you on television as well? I think, you know, finding out that I got the role, I think they were all just really surprised and shocked, but also very excited for me, I think. And then seeing me on television, I think they just thought it was the strangest thing. Um, I remember my dad just being, this is, you know, this is nuts. Um, <laughs> But I think they thought it was really cool um, that somebody that they knew and somebody that they loved or liked um, was on television. Yeah, they were really supportive. I think just kind of lost the words is the best expression to use yes. it for. Just like, oh, what, what, you're just right here, but then you're also on the television <laughs> here as well. <laughs> yeah. I'm back, sorry. <laughs> The next question is from xx underscore katie wiseman underscore xx and katie said how do you get more confident in acting by the way I love mallory towers <laughs> oh thank you um i think just doing it the more doing it more and kind of maybe getting other people to look at what you do so whether that you know you learn monologue or what have you and you do it to your family and friends or whether you're in a drama class and I think the more positive hopefully positive feedback you get you know the better you think you you are at it and so just kind of building it up over a over a period of time um but if you do have any negative feedback I think maybe you know I know it's hard but try not to take it um negatively and maybe just think of it constructively and trying to practice even more and work harder at it um and when you know the next time that you watch a film or a tv show kind of i kind of find myself studying almost you know the actors and actresses on the screen and going okay they did that for that bit you know and like that's how they um reacted to this you know and maybe doing that kind of thing so you can then apply it to what you do um so yeah i think the more you do it i think and hopefully the positive response you get then the more confident you'll be the next question is from ella underscore mallory's and they said what was your favorite thing to do in canada um well other than filming um i think probably it was really nice that on the weekends we got to kind of do a bit of sightseeing and so and because most of us i think if not all of us had never really had never been to um canada before and myself included and so it was really cool seeing toronto and going to niagara falls and the cn tower and places like that um and so yeah that was really fun to just be somewhere new the next question is hmm is from oh there you go <laughs> is from x chloe elizabeth underscore x and they said what part of wales are you from um yeah so yeah i'm from wales and i'm from south wales so yeah, was it I fun know. to like go and start filming in london or like um, well yeah <laughs> in, England, in the uk yeah. yeah it was really nice um filming in the uk um and filming in devon and cornwall because i don't go there an awful lot and so that was really cool um, it was also quite fun, to be honest, being the only Welsh person in the cast. Um, and so that was quite amusing. Um, yeah, it's quite nice, I guess, not being from England or Canada. Um, I got, you know, it was kind of a bit of an interesting thing about me as well. Um, <laughs> and so, yeah, it was something that I could kind of tell people and they go, oh, oh, you know, that's you. <laughs> We didn't expect that, and because I don't, I did don't you, think. Did you tell them I any like Welsh just, terminology? Um, a little bit. I think with with um, Tash, I think I, we kind of like I tried to teach her a little bit of Welsh, and I was te teaching her, but I don't think we ever quite finished how to say the longest um, place name in Wales. Oh wow! <laughs> um, <yeah. laughs> you yeah. learn something new every single day. <laughs> 
Yeah. So, so you're probably like a fun asset to the cast. Like, oh, we've got we've got a Welsh cast member. They, they can teach us a little bit um, about how to speak Welsh as well. Yeah. Um, so that was the last question, a fun question to finish off um, the questions from the viewers. But um, it was amazing having you here today as my guest. Um, where can we find you on social media? Pardon? Where can we find you on social media? Where can we follow your journey to see what you're going to be up to? Oh. Um, my Instagram is at Beth Bradfield underscore. Um, and so, yeah, that's kind of the only social media that I really have. Um, so, yeah, you can follow me on there, I guess. <laughs> so, make sure everyone to go and follow Beth. If you don't follow her already, see what she's going to be up to during quarantine and <laughs> when this is over um, after that as well. But um, once again, Beth, it was lovely having you here today. Lovely to speak to Thank you, you as for well. Me. Yes. Oh, you're so welcome. And like to virtually meet you is the is the <laughs> word we're, we're starting yes. to use now. It's like e, yeah. I think they call it e meets, like e meet people. Oh right, well I've never which heard that is a weird a, a weird phrase to use, but it's like we just gotta have to go with it. Basically, it is what yeah. it is. <laughs> well, um, once yeah. again, it was lovely speaking to you, and I'll speak to you soon. Thank you. Thank you for All having right. me. All right. Bye. 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 So now it is the end of this interview. I hope you all did enjoy it. As we did say before, go and follow Beth on her Instagram account to see what she's been up to in the past and also what she's going to be up to um, during quarantine and in the future as well. And um, thank you all for tuning in, sending in your questions. And um, if you'd like to see what I'm doing over quarantine, if you guys don't know already, I have a talk show which is on Amazon Prime and it's called The Inspiring Vanessa Show. So if you, got, if you guys do have Amazon Prime, type in my name, Inspiring Vanessa, and you can watch some episodes on there. And we're going to have a lot more fun um, interviews coming up there as well. So I'm very excited for those episodes to be released. Otherwise, thank you for tuning in today for today's interview and watching the other interviews I've been doing over lockdown because they've been super fun to do. Otherwise, um, I'll be speaking to you all soon and I'll see you all later. Bye.